Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com, and today I want to show you some of the most basic but also most important things you can do with finger picking. We're going to start by placing our fingers on the guitar, then we're going to learn some really common, really useful finger picking patterns, and then finally we'll learn how to incorporate that all with the chord switching and everything. And I've put all the exercises from this tutorial into a printable worksheet which you'll find on my Patreon page. There's a link to that down below. Otherwise, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is position our fingers. Let's play an E minor chord since it's a really easy chord shape, just two fingers. We're going to put our thumb on the thickest string and then we're going to skip all the way to the three thinnest strings. We're going to put our index or our first finger on the G string, our middle finger on the B string, and then our ring finger on the highest string, the high E string. So our pinky isn't doing much. There are some finger picking styles where you use your pinky, but 99% of the time it is going to be your thumb, index, middle, ring. Let's do a simple warm up exercise on this E minor chord. Once again, our thumb is on the thickest string, and then these three fingers are on the three thinnest strings. And our exercise goes like this. Really easy, just ascending through the strings. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Focus on your volume. Try not to let any of the strings snap out like that. You know, try to make them all even. So there we were ascending, we were going up. Let's try descending, coming down. Goes like this. So I just go backwards through my fingers. Ring, middle, index, thumb. Let's try that a couple times. Three, four. And like I mentioned before, I put these all onto a worksheet that's available down below so you can practice these as much as you like. Anyways, we have a lot of ground to cover. Now I want to talk a little bit about our thumb. On our E minor shape, our thumb was on the thickest string and our fingers were on the top three strings. Now, for most finger picking tunes, no matter what chord shape you're playing, these fingers will be in that same place. But your thumb might need to change strings depending on the chord shape. So for a C chord, for instance, we have to move our thumb to the A string. The reason why we're moving our thumb is because it's following the lowest note of the chord. You know, on a C chord, that's the lowest note. You know, if we just did this string, it doesn't sound like a C chord, right? Now, it's a really good idea to learn where the lowest note of each of your chord shapes is. I'm just going to show you ultra fast going through the basic chord shapes. For E minor, thickest string. For G, thickest string. For A major, it's the A string. A minor, same thing. C, and then for D, and D minor, same thing. So now I want to try ascending, but changing chord shapes. So our thumb has to follow those shapes. We're going to go from G, so that's the thickest string, then C, that's the A string, D, then E minor, thickest string. And then we start all over again. So let's try that together a couple times, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Now that might be a little bit tricky for you, and I'm willing to bet it's not the actual finger picking that's messing you up, but the chord shapes. Because you'll discover with finger style that even though a chord might work when you're strumming, when you go to pick it, half the notes are missing. So it's a really good idea to, you know, write down all the chords that you know and keep track of how you are with them. You know, I have a whole method for this. I'll put a link to that down below too, just in case you need uh, some guidance through the process. but. Whatever way you, you accomplish that, I do think that polishing up your chord shapes is one of the more essential things with finger style. 
Now the last thing I want to show you is the most common finger picking pattern ever. And here we're going to be moving our thumb to different strings, but on the same chord shape. I'll show you what I mean. So see there, I was on my E minor shape and my thumb was alternating between those two strings as I picked out a little bit of a pattern with my fingers. And that looks somewhat complicated, but when you break it down, it's really simple. We start off by placing our fingers on the top three strings. That's standard finger picking position. These three fingers on the top three strings, and then your thumb moves between the thicker three strings, depending on the chord shape you're on or on the pattern that you're doing. We're on an E minor shape. We begin by plucking the thickest string with our thumb. Then we pluck with our index. And I don't have to say which string because your index should always be on the G string. So thumb, index, and then we move our thumb to the D string, and then middle finger. And that's it. So thumb on the thickest string, index, thumb on the D string, middle. That's all there is to it. Just work through the motions, take a moment, and when you're ready we'll practice it together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Now from here, there's two things I want you to do. First, I want you to try playing this pattern two times on E minor, and then two times on G. And G uses the same pattern. So my thumb goes in the same strings. So get used to doing it that way. And then the other thing I want you to do is try this using a C chord. Now for the C chord, we're gonna be plucking this string, and then this one. So it's almost the same except instead of the E string we're using the A string. So A string, index, D string, middle. And you can practice going to A minor. It uses the same picking as that. Now what I just showed you should take you more than one practice session. You know, um, with the average student, we'd go through all that stuff in probably two to four weeks. So take your time with this stuff. I just wanted to show you a series of exercises that get a little bit more difficult. You know, you start with the first one and you just go through it and it'll help you get into finger picking, you know, so that when you see a song that uses these components, you'll recognize them. And if you want some more help and you also want to help support the channel, I have a finger picking course, Finger Picking Mastery. It goes from beginner to advanced. I basically took the most popular finger picking songs and I took a look at what they're all made of and I made a course that shows you all those little bits and tells you when you're ready to practice each of those songs and puts it all together. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.